Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Curtis, otherwise known as Frag Level Design, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a space skybox using Spacescape and Unreal Engine 4. Um, I had made a previous tutorial about this uh, about a year and a half ago, but since then things have changed quite a bit use, uh, with Spacescape. Um, obviously you can now export a DDS file to Unreal, Unity, Ogre 3D. Um, so some of the steps on that side's cut down, it's a lot simpler now, hooray. Um, in terms of things with Unreal Engine 4, obviously Unreal Engine 4 has advanced quite a bit in the last year and a half as we all know, but the method I'll be using like I did last time, creating a blueprint and then creating a material for, um, for our DDS file to sit in, that will stay the same, but I'll go through the steps anyway uh, in, in the tutorial. What we're going to do first, like last time, is go to the Spacescape website. Uh, I'll put a link below, but the website is alexcpeterson.com slash spacecape. Um, download the latest version from sourceforge.net. Um, and once you have that, you'll have a, uh, a raw or a zip file. Just extract it anywhere and then open up the folder. And you'll have this little spacecape application here. Just double click it and click run. I'll just minimize that. Now, Spacecape is a really fun program for making space skyboxes. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use one of the presets like last time, but I do suggest people to experiment with it because it is a lot of fun. Um, and obviously, you get a nice live preview as you're doing it. So, like last time, I'm going to use the Purple Nebula Complex. Um, so, for now, we're just going to go File, Export Skybox. Um, now, this is where things change a little bit. Um, you can export it as a DDS file. Image size is still the same, but uh, obviously for this tutorial, just to make things go along quicker, we're going to use a 512 size, just uh, so it imports a bit quicker. But obviously you can go up to uh, 1496. Uh, it will take a while, um, just to warn you. So when you, if you do do this, I suggest grabbing a drink, putting something on. TV like Netflix or YouTube or something and just letting it do its stuff while it imports it in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, so yeah, for now, 5.12. Now, Export 4. I've seen things be a bit hit and miss with the Unreal exporting. Um, I myself, it's been a bit hit and miss. It's worked when I've done Export for Source, so I suggest, for now, export it for Source. Um, give it a file name. Uh, just going to call it um, Nebula, and I'm just going to save it in the Spacescape save folder. But obviously, save it somewhere where you can find it. So just click save. Obviously, because it's only a 512 texture, it's exported quite quickly. We're going to minimize that, and we're going to bring up UE4. Now I'm using four, uh, Unreal Engine 4.9 for this, but um, this process works in pretty much any engine version. To be honest, I think I did this one of uh, the original tutorial in 4.2 or 4.3 so it's not changed since then um, so now we're gonna go I'm in my textures folder and that's why I'm gonna import my uh, DDS file because it'll be a texture so click import find out where you've saved your DDS file mine's here it's gonna double click it and it's gonna start importing Okay, now once that's imported in, you're going to have um, a nice texture cube DDS file in Unreal Engine 4. You want to double click it because we need to change some settings in here. Uh, something that I didn't actually cover last time in the, in the last video and I do apologize for that, I really should have. Um, you, you will notice it is very blurry and very strip like, just not, not very nice looking, you're not really going to want to use this in a piece of work. So we're going to change some of the settings here on the on the right. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is change the compression settings. Um, at the moment it's just left the default. Uh, we're actually going to change this to user interface 2D. Um, this is the best one that I've found for it. Um, if, you've, if you know of a better setting to, uh, to comp compress it to then please comment below. Um, but this for me has worked the best. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is set the MIP gen settings. Um, it's actually quite important to change this, and it's, it's, we're setting it to no MIP maps. 
Um, and then the next thing we can do is change the texture group to skybox. Um, another thing we need to do is the sRGB. Um, uncheck that, and you'll notice it gets really bright. Um, so I've noticed actually saying that um, this kind of works for some and not all so you kind of have to experiment with this one um, so for a minute we're just going to save it because um, I haven't actually tested with this particular preset but it is a bit hit and miss whether you need to use it or not now the next thing we need to do is actually create the skybox for it to sit in and we're going to make a blueprint for this um, I think the f I haven't actually got a blueprint folder on here, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a new folder for my blueprint. Um, sort of off topic, but I find having folders des designated to what is actually in them helps allows you to keep track of all your assets a lot better. So we're in our blueprint folder. I'm going to right click and we're going to create a new blueprint class and it's going to be an actor and we're just going to call it something simple like skybox bp so there it is there's our new blueprint and we're going to double click it and there's nothing inside it yet so the first thing we want to do is add a component static mesh and we're going to call this uh, Sky Sphere. Um, hit enter, there it is, done. Go over here to the right and under static mesh, we want to create, um, we want to find um, SM underscore Sky Sphere. Now, if this doesn't appear, you need to go down to view options and click show engine content as this is actually part of the engine content rather than it just being out in the wild um, would have helped if I actually selected it then sky sphere so select that and there we go uh, it's gonna have a nice blue sky attached to it already but don't worry about that for a minute now next thing we want to do is just change collision presets to no collision um, lighting um, it's, it's nothing to actually change here because it's already set to having cast shadow um, changed. Now we need to go into the construction script and the first thing we need to do is make a variable for the material i.e. our DDS file to sit in so we want to go to variables click this little plus and give it a name like sky material now it's going to by default be created as a boolean so we go over here to the right and change the variable type and you obviously won't see material there so you need to type in material and it's this one here material under object types and we want to set this variable to be public now I want to drag off this node and type in set material and under here under material set material you want to have sky sphere in brackets because that's obviously what we're going to be targeting and obviously the target is now set to the sky sphere and the material we want it to be our sky material so we want to drag sky material into here click get and link sky material to the material click compile save that's it, that's the skybox blueprint all set up, ready to go. Now, we need a material and our skybox is actually a DDS file. So we want to create a material for it. So right click anywhere inside your content browser and create a new material and we're going to call it sky, skybox, skybox mat. Uh, double click it and the first thing we want to do is just change some of these settings on the, the left uh, the first thing is shading model we want to change that to unlit and we want it to be two-sided now the first thing to do is to create a constant free vector 
and then drag off that pin and create a reflection vector and we want this one the reflection vector WS now off that pin we want a texture sample sampler parameter cube click that and it's going to have the default texture um, as default obviously so we want to search for our nebula DDS file which is here so that's now set just move this over a little bit so we have a bit more space off this top pin we want to drag off and divide now we need an input for B so we're just going to create a single constant and off this off the uh, divide we want to plug that into emissive color now it's going to be completely white because obviously this is at zero so just change it to one and that's our nebula inside now it is it's quite bright compared to how it is in spacescape so I'm gonna say uh, the DDS file needs sRGB checked so we're just gonna find it double click it we're just gonna turn that back on click save done right now get your skybox blueprint and drag it in now I've got this lovely blue sky again but we now have the sky material exposed here and what we want to do is we want to search for our skybox material or skybox mat as I've called it select it and there it is inside the engine now obviously it's still looking a little low res because obviously it's a 512 by 512 texture uh, 40 96 by 4096 texture will look a lot high res um, but there you go there's the space sky uh, there's your space sky box ready to use inside your game um, thank you very much for watching um, sorry it's taken so long to remake this tutorial uh, if you have any questions or just comments or things you'd like to see in the future either comment below or get hold of me on Twitter on my Twitter handles at frag level design and um, thank you very much for watching Thank you.